the Indian Cardian Tata Motors has confirmed to bring an all-new 5-seater micro SUV for the Indian market named as Punch, which was first shown at the 2020 Indian Auto Expo. The micro SUV is going to launch on October 4, 2021 in the Indian market. After coming to the market, it will be one of the main competitors of an another popular micro SUV named as Nissan Magnite. Today we are going to compare these two micro SUVs. Tata Punch has been built on Tata's Alpha Earth platform by following Tata's modern Impact 2.0 design language. On the other hand, Nissan Magnite has been built on the extended versions of the CMF-A platform called the CMF-A+, which also underpins the Renault Kyger and Driver. Magnite is available in 5 variants, XT, XL, XB, XB Premium and XB Premium O, but Tata Punch will be available in 4 variants, XE, XM, XT and XZ. In terms of price, Nissan Magnite has the price tag between 5.59 to 10 lakhs XM, whereas Tata Punch will be available at the price range between Rs 5.5 lakhs to 9.5 lakhs XM. Talking about the power, the punch will come with two engine options. V6 complain 1.2 liter 3 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine that can be able to produce 86 horsepower and 130 nm of peak torque and a 1.2 liter 3 cylinder turbo petrol engine capable of generating 100 bhp of power. Nissan Magnite on the other hand is also available with two engine options. Naturally aspirated 1 liter petrol engine which can generate 72 PS of power and 96 Nm of peak torque and 1 liter turbo petrol engine which can deliver 100 PS of power and 160 Nm of peak torque. In terms of transmission, Tata Punch will offer 5-speed manual or 5-speed automatic transmission whereas Nissan Magnite offers 5-speed manual or CVT transmission. In terms of mileage, Nissan Magnite can be able to deliver the mileage of 18 to 20 kmpl, whereas Tata Punch can be able to give the mileage of 19 to 25 kmpl. Talking about the dimension, Tata Punch is 3840mm in length, 1822mm in width, 1635 mm in height and has the wheelbase of 2450 mm. Nissan Magnite is 3994 mm in length, width is 1758 mm, height is 1572 mm and has the wheelbase of 2500 mm. So, Magnite is slightly bigger in length than Punch and has a bigger wheelbase. In terms of exterior design, both the SUVs have sportier and rugged look. Up front, both of them gets LED projected headlights with LED DRLs. Tata Punch has the split headlights with the LED DRLs at the top, looks sporty. But the L set DRLs of the Magnite, just at the below of headlights, gives it a modern look, no doubt. Nissan Magnite has a bold white black front grille, gives it an aggressive look. But the chrome accented black strip of the punch instead of grill looks modern. The black accented LED fog lights housing and front skid plate of the Magnite looks more attractive than punch. The side profile of both the SUVs gets power heated war beams with indicated turn indicators, tinted glass, side body molding, large wheel arcs with black cladding and crystal cut multi-spoke alloy wheels. The chrome accented door handles of the Magnite gives it an elegant look. But the body colored front and C pillar mounted black rear door handles of Punch is more futuristic in look. The rear profile of both the SUVs gets LED tail lights, rear washer defogger, rear wiper, spoiler mounted emergency braking light, rear fog lights, etc. But the arrow shaped tail lights of the Punch looks more appealing. But the rear black cladding 
along with contrasted silver inserts and the rear skid plate of Magnite looks more sporty and catchy. The interior of both of them gets airy cabin, premium quality soft touch materials, power adjustable leather wrapped 3 spoke flat bottom steering wheel with steering mounted controls, touchscreen input and mid system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with Bluetooth and navigation system, front and rear cup holders, 12 volt charging point, remote trunk opener, push button start and stop, keyless entry, well cushioning ventilated seats for comfortable ride with rear armrest and bigger boot space. Both the cars gets premium sound system. Nissan Magnite has the JBL sound system whereas Tata Punch is equipped with Harman Kardon sound system. The fully digital cluster of Magnite looks more attractive than the semi-digital cluster of Punch. But the dash mounted floating touchscreen input and mid system of Tata Punch looks more modern than Magnite. In terms of feature, Tata Punch is little more ahead than Magnite as it gets extra features like engine start and stop, rain sensing wiper, cruise control, auto washer, brakesway control and others. In terms of safety, both the SUVs have been updated with a number of radar based safety and assistive features including monocoque structure, ABS with EBD, heel assist control, Isopix child seat anchorage, electric stability control, lane keeping assist, seat belt and door hazard warning system, dual front airbags, tire pressure monitoring system, traction control and rear parking camera with front and rear parking sensors. Most of these safety features are available for the higher specifications of Magnite, but these safety features will be available more or less for all the specifications of Tata Punch. Additionally, Tata Punch gets traffic sign recognition system, voice alerts, auto emergency braking, forward collision warning system and rear parking camera with front and rear parking sensors. But the 360 degree camera for the highest variant of Nissan Magnite comes as standard. If you go for a design and styling, Nissan Magnite will be a right choice for you. But in terms of power, features and safety, Tata Punch will be a better choice. Thank you.